Today on Plainsight Spotlight, the Florida Money Transmission License Application for Twitter Payments LLC, later renamed X Payments LLC. Unlike some of our other Spotlight segments, today's will focus on a specific document signed by Elon Musk that we obtained through a public records request from the Florida Office of Financial Regulation, or FLOFR, which regulates money transmission in the state of Florida. First, a little background. Your first question might be what money transmission is and why it matters. Money transmission is a legal concept developed to manage risk, usually defined by state legislatures as sending a payment through any kind of intermediary. In the United States, it's regulated on a state-by-state basis, which means that there are about 50 different regulators, aside from federal agencies that currently play a very limited but still important role. Since the statutory definition of money transmission is typically so broad, a money transmitter could be anyone from Western Union or MoneyGram to payroll companies such as ADP or Paychex. At various times, simply handing a dollar bill to a friend to give to another friend might have been deemed money transmission, but usually when laws have been that broad, it's posed a problem, and so those laws have tended to change over time to be a little bit less ridiculous. To this day, there's still some ambiguity about whether debit card processors are money transmitters or, quote, merchant payment processors, and it's the kind of legal gray area that makes lawyers who specialize in money transmission regulations a lot of money. When Elon Musk got his start with PayPal in the late 1990s, state money transmission laws weren't nearly as developed as they are today, and California in particular only regulated international payments. Nonetheless, for a while, PayPal skirted the law in other states and failed to register in a number of places where it was required to do so. That kind of shoot-first, ask-questions-later approach is harder to pull off today, but still not impossible as numerous unlicensed cryptocurrency endeavors have proven the most recent being Binance, which was just forced to pay a $4 billion fine to the United States Department of Justice due to charges stemming from unlicensed money transmission. Government regulators consider money transmission regulations to be such a big deal because they are what stops money laundering from completely overtaking the financial system. And even with regulations in place, they're rarely enforced, and there's still a lot of money laundering that goes undetected or just ignored. In 2022, when Elon Musk purchased Twitter for the sum of $44 billion, Part of his rationale is that he saw the opportunity to create a system similar to WeChat for the United States. Here's his explanation in his own words in an interview with the Tesla Owners Club of Silicon Valley. The colored captions are theirs, not ours. I mean, we don't even have uh, an app that's as good as WeChat in China. Uh, And like in China, you can like live on WeChat, basically. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's like, yeah, everyone everyone's like been there. Like you live on WeChat, you do payments, you do everything. It's like mm-hmm. yeah, it's great. Mm-hmm. Basically, WeChat's kick ass. Um, and we don't have anything like WeChat outside of China. So I was like, my idea would be like, how about if we just copy WeChat? Hey, we'll <laughs> hey. <laughs> copy them. Buys Twitter, copies WeChat. Yeah, pretty Pop. much. <laughs> yes. WeChat is a mobile communications and payment system in China that is absolutely pervasive. Even though most Americans probably haven't heard of it, WeChat is actually one of the most popular mobile applications ever created. It works by just displaying a barcode on the customer's phone, which the merchant can then scan. As it so happens, Plainsight got its start as a spin-off from a mobile payments endeavor similar to WeChat here in the United States called FaceCash, which Plainsight's parent company, Think Computer Corporation, began developing and patenting in 2008 before WeChat existed. Like WeChat, FaceCash was a barcode-based payment system with the added security feature of replacing the signature on the back of payment cards with an image of the customer's face displayed on the cash register, not the phone, for verification. This made it harder to counterfeit. In order to build his WeChat competitor, Musk realized that he would need to apply for money transmission licenses all over again, just as PayPal had. By the time the Twitter purchase went through, Twitter had already begun the application process for its own payments technology, so Musk simply took over where Twitter left off. As a result, we were able to obtain a copy of the Twitter and later X application from the state of Florida. Applications for money transmission licenses are not simple. They require detailed disclosures, fingerprints of the principal officers, and surety bonds, which are supposed to help in case something goes wrong, even though the math doesn't really work given the scale at which even small Silicon Valley companies operate. The most remarkable part of the application is that Musk provably lied to Florida's financial regulators on it. On page 178, in response to question B2, are you or any business or enterprise with which you have been associated as an officer, director, representative, member, principal, agent, or shareholder of 10% or more of the outstanding stock, the subject of a pending criminal prosecution or governmental enforcement action in any jurisdiction? Musk answered no. 
This is simply a lie. To start off, Musk is the CEO of Tesla Incorporated, and Tesla is the subject of pending governmental enforcement actions by the California Department of Motor Vehicles, two of them, the California Civil Rights Department and the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, which is a federal agency. He's also a greater than 10% shareholder of Space Exploration Technologies Corporation, or SpaceX, which is the subject of a pending enforcement action by the National Labor Relations Board. This document is notable because it is the rare example of a filing signed by Musk himself where the lie is obvious and unavoidable. Government regulators generally don't like it when you lie on an application for a license to start a financial institution, and it's grounds to deny the application. It of course remains to be seen whether the state run by Governor Ron DeSantis will dare upset the Republican Party's wealthiest booster. That's not the only interesting part of the application. Twitter Payments Chief Compliance Officer Jenner Balago notes in his employment history that he was also a compliance officer at Airbnb from 2014 to 2017. In 2013, just before his tenure at Airbnb, Plainside's parent company sued Airbnb for operating as an unlicensed money transmitter in violation of numerous federal and state laws. This put Airbnb in a bind. It did not want to admit that it had violated any laws, and it certainly did not want to be seen suddenly applying for a money transmission license in California after it had been sued, which would be tantamount to an admission that it and its officers committed a felony. So instead, Airbnb incorporated a new company called Payment Sub Inc., which was a subsidiary of Airbnb. It lied to the court, claiming it had no related parties to report in the litigation. And it lied again when it got caught. Once the judge made clear that he wasn't going to ask any questions about Airbnb's lies, the company filed paperwork to change its name to Airbnb Payments. After that, Algo went to work for Chinese company Alipay, and then landed later on at Twitter, where he stayed on even after Musk's takeover. Legal infractions aside, there remains the larger question of whether anyone will want to use a Musk-led X payment system. X is now widely regarded as a neo-Nazi cesspool of a platform, with advertisers fleeing after Musk told them, Don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? If somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f*** yourself. But go f*** yourself. Is that clear? It's not the kind of thing financial regulators or banking customers generally like to be told. But it probably won't matter, because in all likelihood, the X payments money transmission license application in Florida will be approved in a country where Elon Musk is above the law and money is everything even when it's the product of securities fraud. To learn more and view documents described in this video, visit plainsight.org or click on the links in the description below.